Hi, and welcome to TheRave.com. I'm Linda Kay, and today I'm here with Jared and John of The Dirty Heads. Hi. Hello. hello. Hey, welcome to The Rave, guys. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Absolutely. This is your first time here at The Rave, and it's a hot one today. It it's like home, doesn't it? It's a very swampy <laughs> one at the, at the Rave today, but we're, we're excited, and we're looking forward to the show and making everybody else sweaty and hot, just like us. Very <laughs> nice, yes. I mean, with this current tour with Sublime with Rome and with Maris Yahoo, just tell me how it's been so far. Oh, uh, you want to use it? It's been amazing. I mean, this is, what, the fourth show, I think? Mm. Every single one of us has just been crazier and crazier every night, it, it seems like. And the last time we were here was a couple weeks ago at Summerfest, and it was probably one of the better yeah. shows we've ever had in the in the Midwest. Are we in the Midwest or mm -hmm. north -ish? Whatever. North Midwest. North wow. Right in the heart. <laughs> yeah. There, I that's guess. <laughs> <laughs> very nice and congrats on the success of your debut album Thank right here in much. Port in a Star. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. And I mean just like what's this journey been like ever since releasing this album? Um if you it's like just one of those things where it's like if you would have asked me a year ago what I'd be doing, I'd be like, Oh, probably in a van, like grinding at clubs, you know, and yeah. but we're playing with Sublime and Monas Yahoo, two of our favorite bands, and our fan base is growing so, it's it's just nice to see it, you know it actually happening and then having fans come out and having the shows blow up and have bigger shows and because that's what we always wanted to do is make this big community and now that it's happening it, you know it feels good, yes. so we're excited. Yeah, it surprises <clears throat> us still every night the yeah. amount of people that are singing along and and really just showing up that early you know mm -hmm. since we're the first band. Absolutely, and several different influences when you were writing, and then like with the bands you're performing with now. Am I right? What are some um, of the yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, on the first album, it's 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 more it's eclectic, probably more than you know than most albums. But we we wanted to do that because we wanted to show everybody when we came out of the box with our first album mm -hmm. what styles of music that we that we came from you know yeah. um, the, the next album probably won't be as eclectic it'll probably be more because we've kind of honed down our sound and kind of like found ourselves and found our music you know um but there was definitely we we're like let's just show everybody where we came from with with this first yeah. album so they can get it you know absolutely and yeah you have the special edition out right now with your number one hit lay me down yeah, yeah. 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 so hopefully we'll have a couple more number one hits off this yeah. album too <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna milk it yeah. yeah how did that collaboration come about um, how did we meet Rome? Well, then decided to, you know, do the song together we, and whatnot. Uh, what is it? Oh, we were in the war together, and this okay. And his, <laughs> all of his other brothers got killed, so we had to go find him, and then take him back home. It's the plot of Saving Private Ryan from another. <laughs> we said that because we get asked that question so All much. The time. We said that we're just going to start doing movies. I was going to go with Aladdin and I was going to be a lowly thief and he'd be a princess, but mm -hmm. it's kind of gay. Uh, um, no, we we're literally just hanging out. We were friends before any of the Sublime stuff happened. We mm -hmm. just threw mutual friends at, at the studio that we hang out at. And uh, we were just literally sitting at Daddy's house drinking beers sitting around in the summertime like right before warp tour or something like that yeah. and then it and then it just came and we wrote the song in like two days literally took us like two days and what we just sat there we just thought oh this is a cool song maybe we'll put it on the next album you know we got a song thing now like we didn't really think of anything about it but <clears throat> it got in the hands of a radio station down where we from california k-rock and uh they put it on they blew it up people started calling in and then just caught like wildfire and then the whole rest of the hey there's your mom <laughs> just kidding <laughs> <laughs> well see i know you get asked all but that's a great story to hear you know maybe some people don't know that and by watching this now they know yeah yeah exactly yeah. Yeah, that is good <laughs> that, that was, video it's yeah. better than saving private ryan that was stupid <laughs> <laughs> the video is just <laughs> awesome too though just watching it, i'm like i want to you know run into you guys in mexico and have some tequila at the that bar. Was, uh, we're like how <laughs> oh, can we man. make this video but also just be able to like we it was pretty much like hey let's just figure out a way where we can go down to mexico and get drunk yeah and and we we're like oh yeah okay that'll be a perfect video because that <laughs> i mean when i hear the song i get that vibe that like baja vibe so it was cool and we live like it literally i have a house down there um that we used to go surfing there all the time and it's like three hours from huntington where we live to mexico so it wasn't like some big thing we, we went one day shot it one day and then we're home you know at night it was cool very cool. All right. As you said before, this is your first time here at the rave. Like I said, it's really hot in here. Did you guys get a chance to walk around and oh, see man, the different yeah. rooms? I, I just, I was just uh, down and saw the boiler room area. Wow, it looks like hundreds of people have died down there. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty awesome. There's a lot of cool spots in this venue. I was wandering around earlier, and it's very cool. How about you, Jared? 
I, I haven't. I've been sleeping in the van. Okay. And it was hot, and then I came in and saw the creepy pool, and then that was cool enough. <laughs> um, but no, I'm just excited. We get you know the sound check when we sound check the big room. It's it's really cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to pack that thing and, and get out there and play in like an hour or something. Yeah, definitely stoked. All right, so just tell us what's next for the Dirty Heads. We're gonna keep touring and we're writing the new album right now. But we'll probably you know still be torn off this this album till you know probably next summer maybe. Actually, I don't know. I'm not gonna say any dates or anything because I know nothing. But um, we are writing new music and we're gonna be touring and just try and tour 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 as much as we can. So. We'll see you at a show. Awesome, awesome. All right. Well, Jared, John, thank you for joining us thank here on TheRave.com. Looking forward to the show. All right. Awesome. And thank you for watching TheRave.com. Make sure to check out the Dirty Heads current release, Any Port in a Storm. And we'll see you soon next time on TheRave.com.